So, Earth must be aligned with love and war, then from below you'll discover more. And this fortune telling machine by the machine, by the way, this was supposed to be in the museum. This is kinda like the backstory of the whole thing, but it wasn't set up yet, so it's kind of in the back room here. I wonder, I wonder what else is in here. Let's see some boxes. Other boxes? Oh. I think it is what I think it is, Light Blight. down an important phone number. Mm. Scrawled. Actually, what he's referring to is the Exupi book that we saw in the library. That looks more green. Maybe he's colorblind. Your memory. But I think it's green. Let me bring it up here. Uh, oh, it is called the Black Book in your flashback. It's like, well, I guess it is black, but the binding's green. The cover is kind of... Uh... Mm. I don't know, it looks to me like, I mean, I kind of agree. It, it, it is a, a dark green. It's not really black. Mm. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't think they intended to us, for us to dwell on it. Here it is. Here's the pot. And, uh, Jade. Oh, dear. I don't know how people take this, but my thought is Jade is the only female Exupi. I don't know if that's possible, but that's my fuck take on it. Based on the elements. Well, we have to reproduce somehow. Okay, we have to turn quickly here. Okay, we did it. Okay. <laughs> I avoided him. <laughs> yeah, you can explore this corridor, but I'll actually go back to it later. And we're back! <laughs> okay, now up these stairs to what looks like some kind of temple type thing. There's clearly a door here. See it? Mm-hmm. Guess we'll have to get it open. This is a pretty standard puzzle. All you gotta do is you click on these and they rotate. So maybe... Can you move them around? Yeah. Well, they don't move positions, but they just rotate in place. I don't know how that works, but they do. Okay. So let's just make a little pathway so it goes all the way down to this slot. Straightforward, yeah. That's cool. I want that for a door lock. That's cool. The very Doctor Brain kind of door lock. Yes. Into a blue passageway. I'm gonna turn actually and then press the button. Death comes uneasily to the mind of man. Burial customs throughout the world arise from the belief that the survivors can secure life after death for the deceased. You will find here that man has conceived of many ways to honor the dead. Mm. The death ritual room. Okay. What's this? Is this where, Win is this where Win not did his human sacrifices? Mm, perhaps. Game is full of weird sounds. What is that? Oh dear. Ugh. 
he went away. <laughs> Ooh. I believe, yes, a Norse burial ship. And a skull dial. <laughs> this one has to be blue. Excellent. Huh. Less weird stuff. What's this? Shall I? The tiger. A what? Oh, wait, no, it's a lion. Yeah. Oh. So we got a, uh... Oh, yeah, there's a lion above it, but we got this book here. Let's see. Moving tomorrow, I decided to record my thoughts in this journal. Oh, it's a journal. Oh. A journal, not a diary. <laughs> Pleasant. What does this dad say? Professor Wendell Knott's museum is strange and unusual. Museum will never open. Mount Pleasant, I'm looking forward. I finally saw the professor. He looks cool. Okay, so this isn't the professor's diary. Everyone is as bad as I thought. Everyone here is a bunch of hicks. Hmm. There's this girl, Beth, who's kind of cute, and she says she knows Professor Wendell Knott. So wherever this person is, he knows Beth. So he saw the professor enter his museums through that passage we took, through that kind of um, uh, trivial pursuit looking thing in Stonehenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is kind of his map interpretation. Met the professor face to face. Oh dear. Explorer Museum. Oh, she has a rope ladder. Mm. This is a very odd museum. There are a lot of rooms we can't even get into and puzzles everywhere. We found this one exhibit that had some ancient pots. There is a warning outside not to disturb them, but Beth said she didn't believe the sign and opened one of them anyway. Uh-oh. There was a pretty cool noise, and it felt like cold wind coming out of the pot. I thought I saw green electrical charges coming out of it, but Beth said it was probably from negatively charged ions or something. I helped her open the rest. It was pretty neat. Oh, dear. SOMETHING HORRIBLE HAPPENED! <laughs> yeah. And apparently they got separated. <laughs> Beth is dead, found her body in the basement. Oh dear. Those pots are not in the exhibit anymore. I kept finding them all over the museum. I think I have to find them and use them on the creatures. If only I could find a way out. All the doors are locked. Maybe they won't find me in here. Today this. was not a good day. Look at this lining here. You see it? Yeah. You don't suppose... Ugh! Oh dear. He's dead. Might just have a bit of a sunburn. <laughs> but there is something that's unusual here. He was taken by Jade, so this thing isn't made of Jade. Maybe it's orange Jade? A spectacular coffins of Ganya. This line celebrates the life and status of the great African hunter and will carry his remnants to the afterworld. Jewelry and money will also accompany the hunter on his journey. What's this? Oh dear. You know what this is? Um, it's a uh, a skull sticker. It's the jade skull that was in the main exhibit room. Oh. Uh. I don't know why, but he must have taken it with him. Oh dear. He probably just thought it would ward off evil spirits. Mm, look, ceremonial ashes. Oh, cremation. Oh, cremation. Cre wow. I speak English very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It happens to all of us. Oh, look at this weird thing. The animals crematorium. Food and personal items accompany the dead are their trip to heaven. The entire structure is burned, including the platform and tower. Okay, if you want to see an annoyance, try this. Sure. Oh, this game. Yeah. Folks, we're going to have to do this game in order to win the game. The old Shivers game. And we'll do that next time. Woohoo.